Hello everyone, this time I want to present you my general progression guide. I cover it from starting the game for the first time until you hit the endgame at adventure rank 50. So if you are an experienced player above that rank you might want to consider skipping this video or if you are interested in an endgame artifact guide you can check out the description for a link. I will start by covering the adventure rank system, then the world levels and then the resin system. Resource management is key in Genshin and I hope I can help you with this, so let's get started. There are two major progression systems in Genshin Impact. The first one is quite easy to understand, it's the resin system. It's an energy system that slowly refills over time and it's used to claim certain rewards for completing content in the game that is tied to character progression. For example, materials for leveling up characters and their skills or farming artifacts. More on how to manage this resource efficiently later. And then there is the general progression which is represented as the adventure rank system in this game. Every feature is tied to this and unlocked at certain levels, especially the world level system which kicks in at adventure rank 20 and every 5 ranks from this point it will increase the difficulty of your game. Learning about this will help you be prepared and not get overwhelmed by a severe lack of resources which will often result in falling behind in player power and a sudden struggle with a difficulty spike. If you feel like this already happened to you, try to choose one character you like and focus all your resources into catching this one up. First let's have a look at the adventure rank system, often referred to as AR. Leveling up is quite simple, you can just complete your Archon quests, side quests, open chests, complete challenges or spend resin. The first milestone to aim for should be AR12. Talk to Catherine here and unlock daily commissions. Complete all four of them and go back to Catherine and turn them in. This should be your number one priority every day because it's the easiest and most consistent way to gain Primo Gems. The next milestone is AR20. Along the way you will unlock the expedition feature. I will recommend the ore ones because it will help you gain more weapon enhanced materials. Along the way you will also unlock domains and a character called Barbara. I recommend using her because she has the ability to heal and it will save you some food items. After hitting Adventure Rank 20, you level up your world for the first time and unlock the Spiral Abyss by doing a little puzzle right here. I recommend doing it as soon as possible because you get access to the free character Zhang Ling and she's quite good and will help you out a lot. Aside from this, you also unlock the Battle Pass. The daily missions will be pretty much completed after playing for 20 minutes, so don't forget to claim these. Now we hit Adventure Rank 25 and this time we actually have to do a quest to increase our world level. This will happen again at Adventure Rank 35. Do this first. Then on our way to Adventure Rank 30 we will unlock the city reputation system right here. Do this every week. Aside from this we also gain access to more domains and the serenity pod. Progress through the system and you will gain access to the shop. The highest priority to buy each week is the resin. And aside from this, uh, you probably want to either buy talent books or the artifact experience. And with this, we covered all the systems tied to adventure rank, including the world level system. There's more to this one and I will get to this in a bit. When you ask a Genshin veteran which is the number one tip for newer players, pretty much everyone will say don't spread your resources too thin. Meaning focus on one to two characters and invest your resources only in them because otherwise you will run out very quickly. So pick a DPS character that you like, level it up and invest into weapons, artifacts and talents. Aside from this, you can pick a second character, preferably a healer like Barbara, and you don't have to use food items all the time. And next let's get back to world level. 
As you know, it starts at AR20 and every five levels from there, the game will get a little bit more difficult. And to deal with this, you want to complete a little checklist every time you hit a new world level. And this will prepare you for the next one. So click this little top right button in the character screen and it will tell you which materials you need to farm next for ascending your characters. Same for the weapons, click the enhance button and Next to the enhance button is this little button which will tell you which materials you will need next. And same for the talent books, just check which books your character needs and farm a few of these. So every time you hit a new world level your number one priority is prepare all those things for the next world level. And now let's talk about resin usage. Obviously you want to do your world level checklist, ascension materials, weapon materials and talent books. But if you are done with this and you haven't reached the next world level and have leftover resin, farm world bosses. Obviously the ones that have the same element as the characters you are using to stock up on materials for them. And as you progress through the game, AR30, 35, you obviously want to complete your four-man team. Start to invest into good supports like for example Zucros, Jingshou or the aforementioned Zhang Ling. And do this until you hit Adventure Rank 40. Now you want to consider building a second team to push deeper into Abyss. Still use all your resin into Ascension materials, talent books and weapon enhanced materials to get these characters running. Until you hit Adventure Rank 45 because now your focus shifts completely because you unlock the, li the last tier of the artifact domains which guarantee a 5 star as artifact. I recommend farming the noblesse set first because it's a great general purpose set but in general focus on the main DPS first and then your supports later. For specific sets that you want to farm I recommend looking up character guides. And the last thing to mention are the weekly bosses. Their rewards are tied directly to the world level, so you want to fight them on Sundays because they reset on Mondays and if you claim their rewards on Mondays and level up your world level later, you essentially pass on better rewards and you don't want to do this. And now let's talk about how to properly use weapons and artifacts in the early game. For simplicity's sake I just assume you will use the Traveler and Barbara. For a weapon there is a good 4 star option for the Traveler by reaching adventure rank 10 and claiming the rewards. Just use that weapon and level it up. For Barbara, for wishing you have access to the uh, thrilling tales of the Dragon Slayers, just use this, you don't even have to level it up a whole lot because Barbara doesn't really do a lot of damage. For artifacts, for Barbara it's quite simple, you want the 4 piece set effect of the exile set. You don't even care about substats or anything, just get HP, level up the flower to get a lot of HP to scale her healings. And just put any exile set in the remaining slots to get the 4 piece set effect to generate more energy and get the extra energy recharge as well. For the Traveler, you want the Berserker set to piece effect at least to get the extra crit chance, which is easy to obtain. For substats, again, don't get too hung up on it, just crit chance, attack percentage or um, crit damage are good things to get, but you don't really need them. Just for main stats, level up the feather first to get more damage. You can level up the flower if you need more it's HP and get main stats Primarily here, attack percentage, physical damage bonus, crit chance or crit damage in the last slot. And as a little bonus, there's a really easy um, Berserker's Feather to obtain by doing a quest right here. From Adventure Rank 1 to 45, you want to primarily use your resin on Ascension Materials, Weapons and Talent Books. Any leftover, just farm World Bosses. Invest into a main DPS and a healer first. And then diversify your character cast with uh, decent supports. 
daily you want to do commissions and the battle pass, weekly you want to do the bosses, the city reputation system and the teapot um, rewards and in general you want to do the battle pass, the abyss and the events. The event page can be found right here. And after hitting Adventure Rank 45, you want to increase your artifact quality by farming artifact domains, while still doing all the daily, weekly and general stuff what I just mentioned. I hope this was helpful and made progression and Genshin Impact more comprehensible. Alright, with this we made it to the end. Stay tuned for more guides in the future, until then have fun and have it and bye bye.